the Division 1 Grand Final, Malta versus Italy in the AFI World Nines from Lakeside Stadium, Albert Park in Victoria. And uh, this has just been an outstanding day. And uh, we're down to the last 30 minutes, 28 minutes to be exact to play. Two 14 minute halves, nine aside, played on a rugby paddock with no points. Goals only, using the existing rugby goals. If it hits the crossbar and bounces back into play or hits the post and bounces back into play, it's play on. If it grazes the inside of either the crossbar or the uprights and goes through the goals, it is a goal. I made the point earlier, Tom, you've been here longer than I have, but the, the shooting for goals has been really quite impressive. It has, yes. Have you, have, has that been the case all day? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, there's been some, uh, we've got some, some more stats about shots, but yeah, no, the teams have been very good. I wonder very if, good. I wonder if the lack of points in the, to, to shoot at, so I don't want to be. Well, maybe they just, you know, figure it, uh, well, there's no point. So, I mean, it does mean you have to think about it a little bit more. You yeah. can't just blaze away and get even a, 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 a sort of a consolation prize of a point. So it's Italy, Malta away. Libertore wins it for Italy. Hits the ball very hard. Met very heavily by his Malta opposition player, Libertore, good through traffic, so good you can, vision. You can tell this is going to be a good game already. Absolutely, the pace is going to be very well, hectic. Mal Malta, without question, has been the improved side of the day. They, they fa uh, really floundered in the first game and then came good in the second and third and uh, have really held their own. Italy started almost the other way around. Absolutely started with a blaze of glory, yep. but they've been consistent. I would still say Italy, to me, probably the best side on the day. Absolutely. But Malta... Are not to be underestimated. They've got the best Guernseys, the Italians. They look great. And Anthony Prestia has it. He's about recording the meatball. Meatball, 30 metres out. Prestia could bring up Italy's first. Beautiful. Oh, no. Pushed it right, stayed right. So no score. Italy versus Malta. Switzerland have taken home the choppers in the other game. They are dominant. No doubt the Bears will be going down well for them in front of us here, Switzerland team. Malta, good mark. Good mark. This player's very good. Victor McAuliffe, a good spot kick and finds his teammate in front. And that player's will to Sam all by himself. Opportunity for them now to put the first score on the scoreboard for Malta. Malta got a couple of uh, small, got low to the ground players that are quite quick and for my time of watching this, which is short, those players seem to be really quite effective. So that's, that's a great goal. Corridor, trying to find pressure. Good spool over the top by the Malta oh, defender. Look at this. Tabone, Bang. And that's a fantastic effort. Good goal. Malta out of the blocks, nice and early. In the first four minutes of play, they go to a two goal to nil lead over the, well, you'd have to say, the more fancied uh, favourites Italy. We're not playing for sheep stations. You were going to trade him up walk three metres ago and see if his mates were all right. <laughs> no. hey. Good mark. Andrew Portelli, good kick, honoured the lead. Will Sam, there's a good lead. The running heart of the contest was Andrew Portelli. And another captain. shot on goal for Malta. So Andrew Portelli is usually a very reliable kick. And that is no difference. Fantastic yeah, goal. Pick, pick that one well. So the Italians have to do something here or this is going to get out away from the very Yeah. Zip. Why have you picked Tom? Malta been the uh, improvement since they the have. first game. They, every game they've, they've, they, they started slowly, but they've been building momentum all day. And I, I've actually figured that they would actually be a handful, but they've surprised me. 3 0 in the uh, first seven minutes. So, so Libertori, he gets it, Win kicks it. it around on his left, one on one. Look at that. He's got to pick it up. He, he does, does, and goal. Never in doubt. No. Nah. Look at these two. He really needs that. More than anyone else out there so far today, or in this game at least. Of course, he doesn't mind a bit of hard contest. He's got a fair build on him too, so why not? So Cataldo, good pace. Where's big boy? He tries to no. run the ball on for a goal. He says, I'll just kick it myself. I mean, you can kick like that, why not? Adrian Cataldo, that's his first. More importantly, second to Italy. They're now picking the margin back, Tom Terry. <laughs> and Vanashi, that Simon will bring the ball back up. There he is, the there big is. fella. Well well done. Done. It wasn't a, a lead as so much as the player just kicked it to him. If you want to grab it, you better go there and grab it. Yeah. Tell you what, but he's probably one of the him and 
the other boy from Switzerland in James Rundle. They've probably been the, the two, two dominant, dominant forwards, forwards yes. They? Obviously, Aaron Eagles as well for New Zealand. But yeah. Berger also was a good forward. Oh, he chips over oh, the top. Look no at that. Unselfish. All too easy. Oh, unselfish play. Yeah, that's not great defence. In fact, no. there was no defence. No. Indefensible. That's smart. Yeah, and uh, and you're right. Very unselfish to just lob it over the top like Italy finds the team player over there in Cicero. That's lost in Cicero. Oh, here we go. Oh, here Carl we go. It's on. It's on. Carl, I'll tell you what. It's been bubbling away since this game was. started. You can tell it's a, it's a final. I mean, yeah. they're really having a good go. Oh, just about a good mark over the top, roving off. Just about kicking the goal, it is. It's Anthony Prestia. By the way, I reckon there's a bit of lip going on out there. Libertore yeah, decides be. to kick it over, and why wouldn't you? Oh, beautiful mark. Joel Panishi, he's a good kick. As a coach in a final with a, such a short time of play, wouldn't you be filthy? You're about to go deep into a tackle, you someone mouse off, and you, now the opposition shoots the goal. So, Joel Panishi is going to do the kick around the corner, and. He's, he's got it. He's got it. Great goal to Joel Benishi. Goal number two for him. And down the last three seconds. And it is Italy are five. Malta are three. Five to three, Italy in front. Holding the ball, very good tackle on Prestia. Well, McCullough went for that argue, but just yeah. uh, didn't execute it very well at all. Got pinged. And Adrian Cataldo is a recipient of the free kick. And he's backing himself to kick it's it from about here. 30 metres out. He's already kicked one. Has got a usually good kick. Cleans back on that, but got it on. doesn't matter. Gun barrel straight. And there's the kicking for goal, Tom. Yep. So it's, it's continuing on to be very good. Yep, it is very much so. So, uh, Italy pulling away 6 3. That's for Absolutely a game like this. Accurate, aren't they? Yeah, they it's great. Well. Over the top. The recovery by Cavilli wasn't all that positive, but doesn't matter. Handballs the ball over the top. Could be another goal, and it is. Thank you very much. Italy are starting to dominate yeah. this game now. Another goal to Anthony Prestia. That's his second. More importantly, it's Italy six. They're now six. Malta, sorry, seven. Malta are now three. Or run more than ten, so they've turned it over. So Malta have it. Kick the ball forward to Paul Price Love Child. He reckons this guy's going to belt some by the end of the play. It's Dean Formoso. He's already kicked one goal well, in the first. If he's getting shots on goal, that might distract him <laughs> from the task at hand. <laughs> Dean Formoso is about 25 metres out. Has he got his accuracy and the strength in his legs? He says, not a oh, problem. Thanks Great for kick. coming with that. It's his second goal. That's a ripper. Yeah. He looks like a powerful boy, doesn't he? Yeah. First goal in the second half to them. They're four, but they're trailing Italy by 11. Sorry, seven. They're 11. 11 and four. We praise the. Uh... Kick it out here. Malta finds Dibrakat. That's Xavier Dibrakat. Got one high, surely over the head. He certainly will, one, didn't he? Oh, I tell you what, you won't like that That's boy. You're right. He, he's gone. I know who you are, mate. I'll get you later on. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looked exactly like he did that, didn't it? He did. Big kick. Good timing. Prestia. Prestia kick. How good was that? He goes, how easy is that? He's been good, Anthony Prestia. That's his third goal. And the most impressive one. Yep, 13 to 4. It's been a one-way second half. Malta have only managed one this half. Italy have managed eight. That's been the difference. And the see in the middle. Oh, Sorely hold battle. him off the play. Definitely a free kick to Andrew Portelli. But too little, too late for Malta. They're going to handball oh. over the top. And go sh Bang. And that's a goal to Nugent. That's his first. It's a Premiership Cup. And one would think on his down. last for tonight because. Uh, We've got less than 30 seconds remaining in this Division 1 Grand Final of the AFI World Nines.
And while the second half of this game might have petered out a little bit, I mean, I've, I've not been here as long as you, but it's been a really, really good day of footy, hasn't it? Has been. Been terrific. Yeah, good skills. And like Tom said, the improvement by a few of those teams throughout the course of the day has been very, very good. So that'll be it. Three seconds to go. Here we go. There it is. Well done, Team Italy. They've won out victorious over Malta, 15-5. To Italy, victorious team in the World Nines. All right, congratulations to our Division One champions, Italy. Well done. Great right to the players and officials and supporters. Thank you to Malta. We'll see you next time.